Hey, what's up, y'all? Classic Kev, back with another episode. Y'all, honestly, it's really probably the most important episode yet, because on today's episode, guys, I want to talk to y'all about when I think these crypto markets are going to recover. Now, uh, Bitcoin's currently trading around uh, 29000 It's been kind of trading sideways, but, you know, guys, I, I do think with everything going on right now, all the geopolitical uncertainty in the world, I truly think Bitcoin is the best, your, your least risky asset you could be buying right now. Now, I know what you think, you know, Bitcoin's been trading sideways though. It's down from its all time high. Well, what I look at is, you know, when in doubt, zoom out. So guys, I'm looking at Bitcoin is how much was it just two years ago? You know, around two years ago, you could have got Bitcoin for two or $3,000. So long term, I think this is the best asset against inflation, not financial advice, of course, guys. So uh, anyway, so let's talk about some data I was looking at this morning, actually, on when I think these crypto markets are going to recover. So, and I'll put the link to this uh, to this study. But what what this data suggests is that uh, every every midterm we're in a midterm election year right now. So every midterm election year, the markets have acted very similar. It's actually quite strange how similar these markets reacted in previous midterm election years. So what this data suggests is that around October and November, we could see a very strong rally either right before the midterms or right after them. Now, that's not to say, you know, the crypto markets are safe because we still are in the infancy of this technology. You know, we, we are we are in the early days of the Internet now. The volatility that you see right now, guys, that is your opportunity to buy. Like, you know, these these coins are down, but when you're when you're gonna see in the future, you know, Maddox like around 50 cents, Chainlink at like six or seven dollars, you know, Ethereum under two thousand dollars, like you you make your money in the bear market. If you ask anyone in crypto, how did they get rich? How did they get rich in crypto? They made their money when there was blood in the streets. So right now is the time as investors, you know, to have conviction in certain projects. Now, you know, again, this is not financial advice. My job is not to, on this channel, not to, you know, shill coins or push coins on you. I just talk about what I'm doing now. And what I'm doing is this. I'm buying good projects in the top 50 on CoinMarketCap.com. I'm buying, putting money in smart contract platforms, and I'm not, and it's not just Ethereum. I'm in, you know, Cardano. I'm in Solana, um, at, you know, Avalanche. I'm invested in smart contract platforms. Now, one thing I'm not fooling with that I did fool with a lot in last cycle is the micro caps. I'm kind of staying away from micro cap coins right now uh, because I don't know where the bottom is and. <laughs> If you know anything about microcap coins, the last thing you want to do is is buy a microcap coin at the start of a bear market because some of them do, some of them they, they don't come up for air. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I, I just think that you know these these markets they're correlated with the S and P 500, but they're really not supposed to be correlated. So right now, you know the ret uh, the retail investor is losing. You know how much retail do you think in the past three months? Has, has sold at a loss, right? So the on-chain analytics are showing that there's a lot of whale activity. There's a lot of big wallets, a lot of big institutions buying crypto right now. So the the institutions are dropping the price, right? Th through the fears of the uncertainty of the world we're in. The retail is getting nervous when they're seeing their portfolio down 50% and rightfully selling, you know, because they're, they're scared. They're scared it's gonna go to zero. They're selling institutions, buy it up, and the rich get richer, guys. It, it's really, it's how I view the markets. Now, um, you know, we'll see, guys. We'll really see because I don't delete any videos. You know, I am I know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I know I know that, you know, with Bitcoin, they're not building all this infrastructure and it's going somewhere. You know, when you look at the amount of governments that's legalized it, the amount of countries, you know, the amount of companies building giant mining facilities, spending millions of dollars. I mean, this is the infrastructure for our next financial system. So let's get in something else I am buying, though. <laughs> and again, not financial advice because it's super risky. But but check it out, y'all. We're, we're at the lakefront in New Orleans about to go have some lunch. But but OK, so, you know, I told you I'm not buying micro caps. Well, instead of buying micro caps, I'm buying 
Cardano NFTs. Yep, Cardano NFTs, you know, compared to Ethereum, guys, they're so cheap. They're so cheap. And I look at it like, you know, the risk reward of buying Cardano NFTs right now, I think is way, way, way less risk because they're so cheap. And some of them, guys, I've had Cardano NFTs that have like four and five X in a matter of weeks. It's pretty wild if you pick the right project. So anyway, y'all, so uh, that's just my thoughts on the markets. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And uh, also too, guys, I'm gonna be hosting a weekly Twitter spaces. That's right, guys. So if you have Twitter, it's pretty cool. It's just kind of like being in like a conference call. We do Q&A so people can come up and talk. We're gonna have some awesome guests. So definitely follow me on Twitter. You want to come to the next New Orleans Twitter spaces, but Anyway, y'all, I'm Classic Kev. I'm going to have some lunch. I'm out. Peace.